US President George Washington, Sir Winston Churchill, Rudyard Kipling, and even Swami Vivekanand, Pandit Motilal Nehru, President Rajendra Prasad, and Civil Aviation Minister Praful Patel. What do they have in common? Well, they're all men and they're all Freemasons. A once secretive organization at the center of all sorts of conspiracy theories, Freemasons trace their organization back to the 18th century. Freemasonry came to India some 275 years ago, but the official Grand Lodge of India came into being in 1961. In India, today we are more than 20,000 Freemasons. We're actually here inside the Grand Lodge of India. Of course, technically, I'm not even supposed to be here, not just because of gender, but because of the various levels in the hierarchy. What we're here to find out is whether the Freemasons, are they still a ritualistic, arcane sort of secretive organization, or do they have any relevance in the 21st century? Well, they definitely take their rituals seriously. Rituals held behind closed doors in Masonic temples. The 24-inch gauge represents the 24 hours of the day. If you want to join, you have to believe in God. And of course, you have to have a taste for the dramatic and be willing to keep a secret. But there's a treasure trove of information on the internet, and this includes the secret words and rites of passage no Mason is allowed to disclose. But perhaps it's not that hard to see why there have been some insidious rumors through the ages. But Freemasons, for their part, have a more honorable take. It just is an inner thing. You start calling everybody a brother. But it also helps us to take part in various charitable activities. The main thing is that the brotherhood that is there, not only in the country, all over the world. One thing is for sure, symbolism plays a key role. In New Delhi, Amrita Tripathi.